We're looking at MTI's TGS or thickness gauge system. It consists of two laser heads, each having a range of uh, 20 millimeters and a standoff of 50 millimeters. So we have a manifold here set up to hold the heads apart. This is the controller and the second head interface module. On our controller we have a display. There's actually two numbers showing up there. The first top number is the thickness of what is in here, what we're measuring. And on the bottom, it just happens to be set for the, uh, the distance from the head to the whatever we're measuring on the second head. I've made two targets. One is 164 mils thick, and the second one is 81 mils thick. I've programmed three alarms in the TGS. One alarm is set for no alarm, which means the, um, the target is, the thickness is around 80 thousandths of an inch. The two other alarms out of the three digital alarms I have are set for a high alarm of 90 thousandths, so anything above 90 thousandths of an inch will trigger that, and out of range, which means that um, if nothing is in, in between the two heads, we have a condition there. There's three LEDs on the back of this, which we'll show in a minute, uh, that would indic in indicate those three unique conditions. So when we put the uh, 81 thousandths of an inch target in there, we should get one unique condition that says this is the thickness we want to measure. Nothing in there will give us an out of range condition and in this case where we have too, too much thickness would indicate that uh, we're over range, uh, too thick. So the first thing I do is place the uh, 80, 81 thousandths um, 81 thousandths thickness in here and we're reading about uh, 77 thousandths. These are business cards, so they have a tendency to uh, not be the exact thickness. When I place my second target in here, which is 164 mils, we're reading, well, exactly 164 mils. All right, now, um, I've preset these alarm conditions in here, which you'll be able to do to interface to your PLC. If I tip the unit over, we can see the three LEDs here. And this condition that we're seeing the two LEDs on is, a, is an out-of-range condition. There's, there's nothing in there. I'm going to place the 80 thousandths thickness target in here, and we see there's no LEDs lit at all, which is uh, indicative of no alarms or within range. Now, if I place a target in here that's too thick, I have one LED lit, which means that there's something in between the two heads, but it's, it's too thick. So we have three unique conditions that we can measure with these digital outputs that could go to your PLC that indicate either there's nothing in the gap, there's something of the correct thickness in the gap, or there's something that's too thick in the gap. And that's basically it. We can program these alarms either from the face of the controller through the little digital panel here, or we also have a free computer interface program uh, that connects to this using RS-482, and it's very simple, about a 10-minute operation to set it up using a, a basic laptop computer.